Okay guys, we've got a very special video for you today. Uh, as you can see, here we have a box. And it has arrived from Games Workshop. Uh, so we're going to take a look inside. As you can see, I've already taken off the uh, label, so you don't know where I live. Right, we've got the uh, order form. And here we have it. We've got some new Necron stuff. As you can see, this box has the, uh, the Lich Guards. And yes, S is on the end for the plural. And the uh, all the tryout Praetorians. I know it doesn't say Lich Guard on there with an S, but I'll show you that later. And, that here. and we've also got uh, a Necron Overlord who comes with his uh, resurrection in there. It's a fine cosmos. And the other fine puzzle piece we've got here is actually a crypt deck. Now I haven't got any of the characters yet because I'm not too sure about what they do. So I thought I'd get them later. Uh, put that there. And obviously the most important part of any new Necron order, the codex. And we've got nothing else in the box so we can get rid of that. Right, uh, we'll start by looking at the codex. Um, as you can see we've got lots of interesting pictures of different Necrons and uh, these are like the main characters I guess and then we've got the army list all the points uh, nice artwork some stuff about the uh, cryptex the weaponry and then we've got all the fluff about the like Imitech Stormlord and the uh, all the vehicles like Ghost Arcs and Night Signs, which haven't come out yet. Uh, some Annihilation Barges, Canoptic stuff. Ooh, these guys are cool. Death Marks. I've, uh, I've got one of those, uh, which I might show you later. I think you'll probably see in another video. Here we go, this is the important thing. Lich Guards with an S. And that's the plural. Just like Immortals with an S. But if you look at the box, which show you here. We've got Lich Guards and Lich Guard. So uh, you can pretty much go with whatever you want. Here. And we'll just flick through a bit here. Got some nice artwork, some uh, stuff about the uh, how the Necrons came about, uh, the rise of the Necrons. Nice artwork. They've actually uh, taken that straight out of the 40k rulebook. Uh, some more artwork about the Tomb Wars here. Uh, stuff about the dynasties, Great Awakening, all that stuff. So uh, that's what you'll get in the Codex, and it has lovely artwork on the front cover. And we'll put that here. Um, next we're going to look at the Lord. Yeah, just briefly. Uh, as you can see, they painted that one up. And you don't get the painted, you just get a few sprues, and it's like he's got his. Uh, not sure if that's a staff of light or a war scythe. Uh, you can probably use it as both. And the main part of the figure there. And uh, the two hands with the resurrection orb and without one. And the base. And then the cryptic. As you can see, they've done that one nicely again. And here we've got the. Uh, Got his uh, staff and the hand with the little orb in it that you can see there, and the hand without an orb, and uh, obviously we've got the main part in the back. Part. And we'll take uh, another quick look at the Triad Praetorians on the front with their rods of the Covenant. Uh, top of the box just has standard artwork, the names. And the Lich Guard, or the Lich Guards, whatever you want to call them, with their war sides, and then with their, uh, uh, what are these called? I think hyperphase swords, I think. And the shields, I can't remember the name. And uh, then we've got the Triumph Praetorians with their particle casters and void blades, uh, which all have various different rules. Um, if this set is anything like the um, Deathmark set, is it's actually, they've upgraded the, uh, the quality of the plastic quite a bit since I last bought any of the standard plastic. 
and uh, we'll just have a quick look at some more of the artwork in here. There's a, there's a guy who painted up the whole army. So, look for some more pictures in here. Here we go. Uh, the troops with uh, an overlord and his um, monolith in the background. Some more troops and immortals and destroyers and all of that goodness. Uh, let's look at some of the uh, Doomsday Arc, I think. Yeah, Doomsday Arc. This huge cannon on the bottom. And uh, it's pilot, I guess, of course. And the new Flavons. Uh, ones. Because the Flavons ones have had uh, a lot more fluff done about them and they've had a great fine cast upgrade. Um, just so you know, we'll have a quick look at all of the units that are still in. Uh, we've got a load of uh, special characters like uh, Anraki or the Traveller. Uh, we've got the new Canoptic Scarabs, which is basically upgrades of normal Scarabs. Canoptic Spider, upgrade the Tomb Spider, Canoptic Wraith. That's actually a completely new thing. Basically, they've gotten rid of the uh, the old Wraiths, where, which were normal Necros, and they've swapped them in for um, these new things. Uh, which, if you've read the Fall um, of Damnos, it looks like then all of the Canoptic units are governed by Cryptex. So that guy is going to be increasingly useful. Uh, so here we go, this is some of the artwork associated with the the uh, Canoptic race. And they look quite good. Fearless, finally. Got a lot of Fearless units in this, actually. Uh, here we go, look. Fearless, Centrox Strike. That's actually the uh, the new rules that a lot of people have been uh, searching for, where uh, your scarabs are going to be basically destroying vehicles for you. Uh, fearless. Special rules. Have a look for some more characters. Uh, destroyers are not fearless, but they have got the preferred enemy for everything. Uh, so that's going to be quite useful in, um, in the assault. They're probably not going to be wanting to assault with these guys. Uh, no fearless for the tomb blaze, uh, which haven't actually been really set, but let's uh, look at the R1. The Ktan, or the Ctan, whatever you want to call them, are still in. Which means I can still feel this guy. Uh, my Nightbringer. A uh, bit of a price drop, gone down to 185 points. And you choose from these uh, powers here. Uh, or just look at uh, a couple of them. Uh, my favourite one, which I can't remember what was it. Ah, yes, the pirate shards. I really like the look of this. Uh, the Katarn shard conjures specks of blazing black matter and directs them at, against its foes. Uh, you just shoot eight times with a strength four shot, so that's pretty good. You know, eight shots for a single guy. That's pretty awesome. Then you've got things like the transdimensional thunderbolt. Uh, strength on AP2, Assault 1. Uh, Mother of Wells, Grand Delusion. And so, uh, Grand Delusion is actually uh, similar to what the Deceiver originally had. You can also give these guys the Entropic Touch for uh, taking out vehicles. And they have all sorts of interesting things like uh, Sentient Singularity. So that's pretty cool. And they're fearless too. Um, let's see if we can find anyone else who's fearless. Ah yes, this is the new uh, Stalker. It's going to be coming out, hasn't quite come out yet. Here we go, Triumph Praetorians. Those guys over there, Fearless. Uh, Flavor One Packs. They're not Fearless, but they've got the uh, Deep Strike and Uh Some of you may know the... Um, the uh, Will Be Back has been changed to um, Reanimation Protocols, or Ever Living. I think that's it where they can uh, come back, but it's on a 5 plus instead. And uh, I'll just quickly go through this because I haven't got much time left. It's a Cryptex. Warriors, good old warriors, gone down in points. Destroyer laws are still in. Got your laws and your overlords are still in. And then we've got some more fluff. So, uh, thank you for watching this quick video. If you've got any questions about any of these units, post a comment below. And I'll be assembling these guys and painting them up. And I should be uploading some stuff about the death marks very soon. Hey, go. Uh, take care, guys.